Now coming to the fifth bit which is t square minus 15. So the polynomial can be written as p of t is equal to t square minus 15. So in order to find the zeros of the polynomial, let us equate the given polynomial p of t is equal to 0. So this can be written as t square minus 15 is equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that t square minus of root 15 whole square is equal to 0. This is in the form of a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times of a minus b. So this can be written as t plus root 15 times of t minus root 15 which is equal to t plus 15 is 0 and t minus root 15 is 0. So we can say that t is equal to minus root 15 and t is equal to plus root 15. Therefore, the zeros of the polynomial are plus or minus root 15. Now, the sum of zeros is equal to plus root 15 minus root 15 which is nothing but 0. So we can say that 0 minus of 0 divided by 1 which is minus of 0 is nothing but the quotient of t divided by 1 is nothing but quotient of t square. So we can conclude that the sum of zeros is equal to minus of coefficient of t divided by coefficient of t square. Now the product of the zeros is equal to plus root 15 multiplied by minus root 15 which is equal to minus 15. This can be written as minus 15 divided by 1. If we observe minus 15 is a constant term. And 1 is the coefficient of t square. So we can say that the product of the zeros is equal to constant term divided by coefficient of t square.